May the 15th, 1944, was when I first started. Down the old city station, the old m and Railway. Chief oiler and greaser I was. 14 and, just over 14 and a half. I never drove a steam train until I went to Sheringham. In actual fact, I drove as a fireman. When we went as fireman on steamers, you get a good drive. I just let you have a go on them. But someone said to me, "What do you th what, what do you like steam engines for?" I don't know. I suppose well, because you can see what go on on them, can't you? They make a funny noise. You can see what go on. You can see the works. But they are like horse, aren't they? You got to feed them. You got to water them. You got to clean them. You got to stable them. Then talk to them. And we all talk to them. People think I'm soft over sharing them sometimes when I talk to the engine. You're puffing it up. You know, we just have a word. Go on, old girl, what's up with you? Or something like that. You know, she's hanging around a bit. Go on, old girl, what's up with you? Or she's making every weather on it going up the hill. Yeah, because you can do this, you old bugger, you. Or they lose their feet out of the wet rail and they may slip, do not So they lose their feet. Come on, I think you're a Torval and Dean or someone like that, you know? And Pete, look at you, poor bugger, they keep on soft. <laughs> well, no, the engines stand, they're dead as a doornail. So you got to get on the thing. No, I suppose this is the part of it. You get there, you light it up, and you see it come alive. You watch it after time, it takes about three and a half hours to get steam, three, three and a half hours on them. If it's cold, it takes a little longer. While she's making steam, if you're the driver, you've got to oil the thing up. That's a horrible job, but I suppose it's fun doing it, you know? You're, how can you say, you're putting life into the thing. She knows what, she go? <laughs> No sharing them, them little engines, I mean, they're working up to the limit all the while there. The little tiny tank into a five coaches on. Especially going up there, because it's all up all the way to hold. <laughs> That's how I like to feel that. That's all bloody up all the work, eh? She don't stain. Even what you call a good stain. She run like a pregnant duck. But see, I like the old buggy, you know. <laughs> she, when she get gone, she sort of keeps surging like this here. She got huge counterbalance weights on the wheel. She's only built for about 10 mile an hour, heavy shunt. She wasn't built for running on the road. And them engines will tell you where they are. You get on bridge 303, boy, they'll slow down. You come out of Dead Man's Hill down to 1 in 90, I'll be chitta chitta chitta, and all of a sudden you hit the bridge 303. Chitta 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 it's something about driving a steam engine, which that's different to driving, as I said, different to driving a car. You open the old regulator and uh, you feel it move, and that's a different move than anything else. You're the driver, so to speak, you know. There's a huge great thing where everyone look at. But there is something appealing. But what it is exactly, I can't really tell you. I mean, you're dirt pearly because you love dirt. There's no wages attached to it, a cup of tea every every trip. That's our wages. We used to say, people say, what do you get out of that? Well, you say, a wet shot, cup of tea every trip. Plenty of laughs. That's the main thing.